I'm Brad Ginnix from Ron Zeal Guitar Center in Avon Lake, We're working with the Avon Lake Public Library to present to you our beginning guitar lessons online. Today's segment, part three, covers playing parts of a few songs on several different strings. The first one we're going to start off with is called a country riff. It kind of ends a lot of country songs, and I think it's kind of funny. And that's how it goes. I'm going to take my finger and place it on the third fret top skinny string. Pluck that once. Then I'm going to move to the string closest next to my face. Hit that twice. Then the top skinny string open. Then back to that three again. Then the top string twice, two, three. So I have three, 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 open, three, two, three. So we have to make sure that we're, you know, switching the strings when it says to switch the strings. You can play this as fast as you want. Or as slow as you want, it sounds good either way. As I tell everybody, if the song doesn't sound right or the riff doesn't sound right, either your guitar is out of tune or you're playing it wrong, okay? Um, if the guitar is a little out of tune, you might not even notice. If it's big time out of tune, you might have to tune your guitar. Our next riff we're going to learn is the nationwide jingle. Sometimes when you're doing a whole class of uh, students, it's hard to find something everybody's heard. Not everybody might like classic rock or might not like blues or whatever it is. So we have to try to find something everyone's kind of heard so we can kind of get everybody started. And everyone kind of watches TV and has heard. Everyone's kind of heard that, so I figured this would be a perfect one for a class setting. This is also using two different strings, top two skinny strings, so we're not jumping around much. And I'm pushing on the fourth fret, top string, and a bunch of open strings now. And now two, same string, and the top skinny string open. As you'll see in the graph, four, open, 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 two, open, open. So it's not real hard to play. Nationwide is on your side. And that's all it is. Our next riff we're going to learn is called Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. Um, if you're not familiar with the song, you've probably heard it in, in sporting events because they kind of play it in between innings or, you know, football games and things like that. It sounds like this. Okay. And that's going to start off on the second fret on the fourth string. So to find the fourth string, I try not to go over too many numbers of strings automatically or at the beginning because we don't want you to get a mix up between frets and strings. It is on the D string. Uh, the skinny string is the number one, two, three, four, five, and six is the sixth string closest to my face, okay? We're on the fourth string, as you see on your tablature, and I'm gonna hit that twice. Then I go to the string towards the floor, open, then back to that two on the D string, then that string open. And I'm going to go three, two on the A string. So this riff actually switches between three different strings. So it takes a little bit more practice because you're jumping around a little bit. And with everything when you're playing the guitar, take it slowly, practice slowly. It does take some time. Just go real slow until it feels comfortable. have it down. And the last riff is going to go back to the top two skinny strings. It's In My Life by the Beatles. And this with any of these that you know, you've never heard before, just jump on YouTube, look up the song, you'll find them right there. This is the beginning riff to In My Life. You'll hear it right as the band song starts. And how we're doing that, we're starting on the second string, or the B string, with the two. Then I'm jumping up to the fifth fret, top skinny string. I'm using my first and fourth finger. Like we said before, if you want to just use one finger for now, that's fine. It's kind of hard to play it up to speed with one finger, so it'll take a little bit of practice. We're jumping from two to five. Then I come back to that two again, hit two, three. Then the top skinny string open, and finish with the fourth fret, top skinny string. And if you really like it, the, end, the riff ends like this. I didn't write it in the, in the tablature, but it's four, two, four, five. Top skinny string. Four, two, four, five. So you have this. That concludes part three.